Welcome back, my friends. We are continuing Heavy Rain. Let's see what happens. Access to the base. So you should see uh, access longer around the team is not. Norman Jacob. Hey, Quacker! What you doing in there? That's not staring Tom and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now, why is there blood here? Yeah, we good. That's a lot of information. Ooh. Fingerprints, probably Mad Jacks. Size 10, most likely a visitor. Size 13. Must be Mad Jack size. Wow. The big feet. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Gary comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Fair, you don't know that it's a killer's car. You just know that it's an 83 Malibu. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Again, you don't know that. 
That's just supposition at this point. I think that's the word I'm looking for, supposition. these controls. Fingerprints all over the uh, tools in this garage. What a surprise. There'll be something else in this one. Got it, no information. There's not the even name. Go in there. Thank you. Not the right car either. You say so. Damn! You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue in honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off.
Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Enough. <laughs> I'm starting to remember some things. <laughs> you, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now, that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, shit. Shit, not now. Anything you say, can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Come on, give the other hit. Turn around. Unlocked a new bonus. Scott Shelby. Ran out of inches. So you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Order. Just because I'm that kind of guy. I should prep those scrambled eggs. Yeah, okay. Guess not.
I should be ready by now. That's more like an omelet, but that's okay. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. It looks better on you. <laughs> hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. Yep. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Pleased with herself. The only guy whose name is on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Resistant. You never give up, do you? Time to look for John Shepard's grave. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh... Well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. It's cold. It's raining. Excuse me. I'm standing outside getting I'm soaked. I'm looking for the grave of oh, a young boy who died job. about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. How am I supposed to know which one is the right one? Not like I can read them. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. I hear someone digging. Oh, in there. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Start. Thomas. Excuse me. 
I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Poor youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God! Beat it! You lousy, that. no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this you won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Couple kids playing out in the rain. Using us a Chevy Malibu. Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slow poke. Fight me. Bet you can't do that. Nothing but a slow poke. Fight me. Come on, loser. You're the loser. What you doing? You're coming or not? Which one of us is older? You 
shoulder or am I? Let's try that again. You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. What's with the kids in this game and having some sort of weird accent? It's like a French accent or something, I don't know. You're good, kid. Come on, it's your turn. Oops. And away we go. Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, twenty. Skip a few, maybe not a hundred. Go on, hurry! 
I think the water's rising. <laughs> I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in that pipe full of rainwater. Oh, Jesus. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. That is depressing as hell. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. The kid died 30 years ago. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Why? Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the dock's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. I like that music. Everything's gonna be all right. I find the guy, I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed.
Out of my way. Stupid people dancing. Paco seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. <laughs> Let's that again. Uh, looks like I flunked flirt class. He hasn't even looked my way. to sexy up my performance. And all I need is a good place to change. Be nothing. See what she does. Time to play the sexy girl. I want to know why you have a gun. Let's get it, shall we? I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. It feels like the whole place is watching me. But I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile.
Line ball. Oh, come on. Damn it. That was... I screwed that up. Hey, you! It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Oh, lucky me. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know her out here, honey? Oh, my I God. I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah, I like the way you move, Madison. <laughs> you making me all hot under the collar. <laughs> well, maybe we can continue this conversation uh. somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Just this over the top Cuban Scarface thing, just no. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. <laughs> so, show me what you can do. Take it off, slowly. Take it all off, baby. Uh, could, uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink. To break the ice? No, we already broke the ice. Well, let's get wet. Oh my god. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um. I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. Uh. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. <sighs> the lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. Oops. Oh. 
not sure what I'm doing here. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. <laughs> okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Give him a harder slap. Oh, come on. Ah! Thank you. He deserves it. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady, but you're going to know balls when I cash up with you. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm going to kill you! Boss? Is everything all right? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his oh, name, I swear! Ah! 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 Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> Come on, move it. Time to get out of here. I've got a massive headache. people.
I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, it's you. You scared me. I didn't hear you come in. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. It's, as always, pretty interesting to see what happens. Anyway, until next time, my friends, thank you for watching.